What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we finally found it. I'm gonna play this while I'm talking about it. We found the fix for Comet. We can we can insta cast all of our comets and destroy elites like you guys are seeing me do right now. Uh, if I was on Stormweaver, my mana would be so much better. But it's not. I'm on Chronomancer and it's still absolutely insane. Uh, I know this is going to get buffed or uh, nerfed, but until then, guys, if you're still on the same uh, build, like even the, the Fireball build, or even still doing ice in any way, the tree doesn't change too much at all. So we're going to get into everything for this build, but first I want to give a big shout out to War Justice. I saw uh, this build was shown to me while I was at work. I, I saw it at work, and I saw this. I was like, Comet is back, baby. We are back. Now, I will say, just keep a heads up that I bet you if GGG sees this, then this is going to get nerfed because all the cast-ons have been nerfed. So just keep that in mind. I'm just showcasing the build and trying to take advantage of using this build while I can for, for farming maps and doing everything that I can do in the end game until they nerf it. I know all the cast stuff got nerfed, but this is just absolutely insane. So let me get to a safe spot here because we're, we're in a live... Uh, a live uh, uh, map. Let's go ahead and go finish it too, real quick. Uh, hopefully these guys aren't too far ahead. They're not too far. We'll go finish this and I'll talk about this build. So essentially this build is going to be coming down to casting our uh, flame wall, which is going to spawn our raging spirits. And then we're going to get our raging spirits to die. And that's what's going to give us our energy, which is therefore going to do our cast, which spawns all of our comets. No problemo. So we got another elite here. Let's go ahead and kill him. And then, boom, just like that, he's dead. Fantastic. Just insta, insta, insta dead. Regal Orb, Chaos Orb, love it. Give me this. An Amethyst Ring, why not? We might as well pick it up, right, for the video. So the build is very simple. However, I will say for anybody who is, uh, you know, excited about seeing this build and all that, this build is very expensive right now because of one piece that you 100% have to have for this build if you do not have it. The build does not work, so know that going in. The map is complete. So now we should be in a safe spot to just go ahead and uh, talk more about this build. So, again, like I said, we are spawning Flame Wall. It spawns our Raging Spirits. They die, we cast on Comets, okay? So everything is gone through cast on Minion Death. So... We have three of them because I have 285 spirit. Yes, there is a way to rack up an insane amount of spirit. So uh, let's go ahead and go through the passive tree real, or the passive tree real quick before we get into the skills. So this is still very similar to the original um, Frost uh, Sorceress. A lot of the nodes are the same where we go into energy. We're going to get our Frost stuff. We're going to come over here and get to our Energize and take all these energy nodes. We're going to take our thin ice, right? We're going to take a lot of mana regen, and we're also going to be taking uh, melding and stuff like this and siphonness for increased mana and energy shield. If I had more points that I can move, I would put more into energy shield so I have more. But 1,200 is pretty good with 1,500, almost 1,600 life. Um, I do need more mana. Only having about 1,200 is not the best. Um, if you're a storm weaver and you're able to do this, you're in a much better place because you can get Arcane Surge. Um, Arcane Surge is going to give you a crap ton of... Mana regen, it's another um, 20%, which is huge. And you could just be basically infinitely keep that going. I can't get it. The only way that I can get it as a uh, um, Chronomancer is to do Aspiring Genius. There's a 10% chance to gain it when you deal a critical hit. So that's nice. You could, t you could end up taking all these nodes here for additional chances to gain. And then take these nodes over here for the increased effect if you do get it. But if you're a Stormweaver, this build is even better. So... Yeah, the main thing, though, for this build to work is we're going to come over here and take this node, Necromantic Talisman. All bonuses from our equipped amulet apply to your minions instead of you, okay? So then if we go into our gear, we need this amulet, Solar Flare. Solar Flare says, take 100 fire damage when you ignite an enemy. So when I ignite an enemy, me as the character takes 100 damage, but Necrotic, instead applying that to me, applies it to my minions, and my minions are such low level that they're gonna instantly die, and I'm gonna rack up my energy, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna be able to cast all three of my comments. 
Okay, this is absolutely insane. Um, now, this amulet, I will show you guys. This amulet, solar, solar, what is it called? Solar, solar flare. Let me go up here in, in solar, fire flower, solar amulet. This thing goes for, this guy's lowballing, but it goes for around 60 exalts, okay? This thing is very, very expensive. So if you have the currency, go ahead and get it. If not, then you may not, you cannot do this build because you have to have this amulet. Now, there's a few details about this build that really make this work besides our keystone as well as our amulet. On our amulet, we want to have as low as we can for plus level to all fire skills. We want it to be one. Mine happened to be a two, so it is what it is. So the lower fire skills that we have, the easier it is that it's going to be able to kill our raging spirits. Because when we come over here to flame wall, we want flame wall to be level one in the best case scenario. Mine's a level two. The reason we want this is because firewall is just going to, we're only using this to ignite. Okay, this is the only thing we're using firewall for is to ignite. That is it. All of our damage is coming from Comet. Second, Raging Spirits. We want this to be the lowest level you can get it at. I believe it's a four. Mine happens to be a five. The reason we want this to be the lowest it can be is that way so our minions don't, they die super easy, right? The lower the skill, the better. This is for us, okay? Right? So this is what we want. We want it to be as low as physically possible. Same thing with our Flame Wall. All we're doing is spawning Flame Wall to ignite, cast our Raging spir our Spirits, then they die instantly, and then we get to cast all three of our different Comets. So um, before we get into the Comet setup, though, we do have two additional skills, or excuse me, three. We are doing Grim Feast. Um, whenever we kill something, we have a chance to spawn a Grim Remnants, and that's going to give us more Energy Shield, which is great. We get to rack up a huge amount of Energy Shield, so you're pretty tanky in this build. Um, next is hypothermia. This is just a curse to lessen the cold res. So use this uh, definitely against like elites and bosses. Um, it lowers that cold res for all the comets to hit, makes it super strong. And then cold snap. When you're on a big boss, like a campaign boss, or you know if you're doing your ascendancy and you have a big boss, you freeze them. You know you hit everything. You cold snap them. It deals a crap ton of damage on the cold snap. Um, your cold snap, hypothermia. Well, cold snap, grim feast. And all of your comets, as well as all of your cast on minion deaths, can all be the highest level. Those are no problem. Um, next on the hypothermia, you still want this to be as low as you can to some degree because mana on hypothermia costs a crap ton. So 81 is not too bad. Um, now, uh, as far as our supports, before we get into all the cast on minion stuff, on Flame Wall, we're doing Arcane Tempo so we can cast them faster. We're doing Fortress, so it makes just a circle, as you guys saw. And then we're doing Mobility, so we can move around, right? We don't care about the less damage, because we don't want Firewall doing anything but Igniting. Uh, Raging Spirits, we're doing Infernal Legion, okay? This is going to make minions from supported skills take 20% of their max life as fire damage per second. This also helps them die super fast. Uh, and then we're doing Minion Instability. So this, uh, it makes them explode. It's a little bit of damage to surrounding enemies. It's just a little bit extra. It's good for the adds. Um, on Hypothermia, we're doing Heightened Curse to increase the effect, as well as Expanse, so it's a bigger AoE. Um, on Cold Snap, we're doing glaci Glaciation, uh, Strip Away, and then I think we're doing nothing else. You really only need these two. You could do the increase, another increased effect here, but you don't really need them. Um, so, on Cast on Minion Death. So, before we talk about these real quick, uh, you're probably asking yourself, like, War, how do you have three different Cast on Minions you have Raging Spirits and Grim Feast. Well, we have 285 Spirit. The biggest way we accomplish this is on my chest, I have 35. On my amulet, I get 13. Um, and then on my scepter, you need this scepter, 50% increased Spirit. Okay, this is where we get it from. It's absolutely huge. Okay, so you need this. We mainly have this scepter for increased Spirit and then mana regeneration rate. We do not care about anything else. Next... We have the Threaded Light Woven Focus. Okay, this is going to increase our mana regen and energy shield, but we get 10% increased spell damage per 10 spirit. We got 285. That's a lot of damage. Um, those are the only two spots I believe I have spirit. Yep, chest and my Solar Flare uh, amulet. Uh, so you need those two. Non-replaceable. If you don't want to do the staff, that's fine. You could use a regular um, wand, and then you will have like a few less of these. But if you could do all three, it makes the build much smoother. Now, cast on minion death. 
Cast on minion death gets 50 energy when a minion is killed. It's got increased energy, all that good stuff. Um, so on our very first one, this is our main one. We all three have Comet, which again, Comet can be maxed. Uh, we got Spell Echo, and then we have Impetus. This is going to be our main one. Next one, we have Spell Cascade, um, and then we have Energy Retention. So we get we have a 35% chance for our energy or half of our energy to come back on this cast, which means we can cast more. And then on this one, we have Concentrated Effect for more area damage. Um, and then we're doing uh, Consider Casting, which gives us just more damage, right? So those are all the gem setups. The gear setup is pretty self-explanatory. You 100% need the amulet. And if you want to do multiple, you need the Omen Scepter. And you then you definitely need the shield. Uh, it 100% gives you a huge amount of damage. Other than that, all my gear is pretty much the same as what I was doing before. Um, all just resistances, increased energy shield, life. Um, definitely get more spirit on your chest piece for sure. Um, yeah. And then that is the build, guys. It is pretty straightforward. This build's pretty insane. Again, you're going to need this keystone. If you are a storm weaver, this build is much better because in your ascendancy, you can take the arcane surge nodes. But outside of that, man, this build is incredible. Um, I'm posting this, so if you guys have the stuff, go ahead and just play this build. I'm going to be farming with it as much as possible. Now, again, forewarning before we end the guide, uh, GGG, if they see this... Um, and it blows up, you know, it's probably going to get nerfed. They cast all the, they, they nerfed all the other cast on, you know, effects, so skills. So I do not see them letting this build go in any way, shape, or form. So just keep that in mind. Be very re weary about playing this build um, if you are trying to switch and play this just to have some more fun. Be very wary, okay? I don't want to say I didn't warn you. But if we go back into this map device, I think I have a third one. Let's just do a blank. Let's just grab a... I think I have a three. Just to showcase a little bit more because this is just fun. I do have a five. Let's do a five blue. Let's do a five blue. Real quick. Just to see just to see how it stacks up. But this build is so fun, man. It's been making farming just super, super good. And that's it, man. You're just running, running around. And everything dies. Now me, my mana is not the best. Again, let's go ahead and curse. Let's not die. Arcane Surge is absolutely fantastic on this build. Otherwise, you need as much mana regen as possible. That shock ground was messing me up. Yep. Just run super smooth. Ooh, another elite. Kill him. He just dies. It's just so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Again, big shout out to War Justice, a fellow war like myself. Um, yeah, this is absolutely insane. The guide will be down in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, sub if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.